An independent review is to be carried out into how the Church of England handled the case of a former Bishop of Chichester named as an alleged paedophile. The Church settled the civil claim of a woman who said that she was abused by the late George Bell. Well, Bishop Bell supporters have been critical of the Church's investigation. Mark Sanders has our story update. George Bell was one of the most influential Anglican bishops of the last century, known for his work to help refugees fleeing Hitler's Germany. But many years after his death, it was alleged he was a paedophile. The church settled a civil claim from a woman known as Carol, who said she was abused by the bishop in the late 1940s and early 50s. I think he was awful to me. I can't say he ruined my life, but he didn't make it easy. I might have been happier. Perhaps I wouldn't have been so lonely. Carol first brought her claim of sexual abuse by Bishop Bell to the Diocese of Chichester in 1995. Carol then raised her allegations in a letter to Justin Welby, shortly after he became the Archbishop of Canterbury. Last October, the church issued a formal apology and paid Carol £15,000 in compensation. Today, the Church of England announced an independent review into how it handled the allegations and the decision to settle the case. Supporters of Bishop Bell have been critical of the way the Church carried out its investigation. What's worried me is that the reputation of a very important man who did some very good things in his life has been thrown on the trash heap with very little actual evidence against him. In a statement today, the current Bishop of Chichester, Dr Martin Warner, said it was important to learn lessons from the process. He said of the survivor in the case that we will do everything we can to continue to support her. And the Bishop insisted he was committed to ensuring that the past is handled with honesty. What we've got to check on is really the terms of reference relating to the new review. That needs to be looked at closely. The church has said it's always recognised Bishop Bell's principled stand in the Second World War, but it said it also has a duty to listen to survivors. Mark Sanders, BBC South East Today.